The water truck arrives and people mob it. There's been no running water for days following a contamination scare. Now everyone wants to fill up. Bottles, buckets, anything. People started falling ill in Menufia last Saturday. The same symptoms, vomiting and diarrhoea. The tap water had turned a nasty shade of brown around the same time, so people drew the obvious conclusion. The health service is stretched to breaking point. Sometimes people coming with fever only. I think this is phobia because they know some people, maybe we, we cannot tell any information about this until the analysis of this water, we can tell. Many people haven't even made it to the hospital. This is the Ragib family. Mustafa says he fell ill after drinking dirty water. Two of his sons are sick as well. I'm very sick. I've been to the doctor several times, but the treatment isn't having any effect. I just want something to make me feel better. Well, I bought some bottled water before coming to Minofir, and it's just as well because this is the colour of the water that has been coming out of the taps. And that gives you some idea of why Mustafa and the others have fallen sick. The people of Minofia are angry and confused. They want answers from the authorities. What caused the contamination and when will their water be safe again? Why uh, the government not interested more than what we have? I don't know uh, if they, if they uh, not understand the problem. What they need after 5,000 people until today. Uh, Maybe if we have somebody die, maybe uh, we'll get interested from them. The water cleaning plant in Minufia gives some indication of the state of basic infrastructure here. Experts have taken water samples. Now everyone's waiting for the results. Whose fault is it? We won't know until we get the results of the analysis. It has not been determined yet. This is one story from one small town, but it gives a vivid picture of the wider problems in Egypt. Clean drinking water is a basic right, and people have learned that if they shout loud enough, they can make a difference. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Minufia.